Ready for yoga? Okay. Hi, welcome to our yoga for everybody session today. My name is Skyla Ramirez. We are starting with our breathing technique for the month, which is our detox technique. Two quick inhales, one strong exhale. So we are rolling it out with team chant, team Plano chant with this breathing technique. This is what it looks like. We open up, team, play, no. All right, let's try it together. One, two, three, exhale all the way. Okay, ready? Team, play, no. Team, play, no. Two more. Team, play, no. Team, now just breathe it out. Now faster. <laughs> faster. Three as fast as you can. Last one. And now just shake it off. So that breathing technique is actually a combination of two advanced ancient yoga techniques. And just so you know what we're doing in case you ever go to like a yoga studio or to a um to some sort of like a I don't know yoga conference who knows um you're doing it's called Anu Loma Krama and you're doing Bastrika which is a strong abdominal pump movement let's take our feet out wider than the hips turn the toes out we're going to continue to stimulate that digestive detoxifying energy in the body bend the knees and we always want to see that those knees go in the same direction as at least your middle toes. Very important, especially if we have to sit a lot in the day, we tend to have more knee issues. So we want to make sure we're working on knee stabilization. Push your hips back just a little bit. So it's going to feel maybe a little bit like sway back. That's okay. You want to feel like this is an exaggeration. It's not going to be your normal everyday posture. Let's extend the arms out, turn those palms up. And as you inhale, straighten the legs, press your hips forward to open the front of the hip and then press the hands up overhead, kind of like a jumping jack movement. Bend the elbows, knees bend, hips go back, palms up, pull the shoulders back. Imagine you've had a piece of ice slipped down the back of your shirt. Woo, good. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, take it down, piece of ice down the back of the shirt. Pull those elbows back, inhale, bring it up. Exhale down, quickly pull the shoulders back, chest forward, two more, inhale up. Exhale down, imagine you're like a proud bird. You want your chest to bow out a little bit. Ka -ka! Good, inhale up. Exhale down, proud bird expression, chest forward, ribs protruding. So it almost looks, it's less like a bird, it's more like a chicken. That is really how you wanna look though. And we're exaggerating this so we can correct our muscle memory for our posture. From here, go ahead and take your right hand to the low back, reach across the left side of your body, the right side of your body with your left hand, press the left knee and left hip back. What will often happen is as we're reaching to the right, your left knee and hip is gonna twist, but we wanna press those back as we reach. From here, come through center at the belly, Pull that left elbow in, reach across, right hand across the left knee, pulling that left arm into your waist and low back. Press the right hip and the right knee back behind you or push your left hip forward a little bit. From here, let's take our right hand to the low back. Inhale, both arms up and overhead. Exhale, coming down, elbows behind us, keeping the arms open, only twisting at the waist, turning towards the right, pressing that left knee and hip back, turn the thumbs up. Now straighten the arms as if you're going to shake hands with someone in front of you and behind you. Remember to keep pushing that left knee and left hip back, press your right hip forward towards me, right hip towards me. Inhale to center, elbows in, arms overhead. Exhale straight down, twisting towards the left this time, pressing the right knee and right hip back. Keep pushing down into the inner blades of the feet. Press your left hip towards me. Thumbs are up. Let's extend the arms out, shaking hands with someone in front of us. 
and approaching behind us. Keep pressing those knees back towards your pinky toes. Push that left hip a little bit more towards me and pull that right hip towards your back wall. Bring the elbows in. Neutral position, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, come down about a third of the way with the arms and push your hips back, palms down. Sweep the left hand in front of the right hand, keeping a flat back. Inhale, bring it all the way up and overhead. Exhale, down about a third of the way. Sweep the right hand in front of the left. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, down a third of the way, left in front of right. Inhale up, exhale right in front of left. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale halfway down, do not cross the arms. Push the hips back. From here, you're flying, press those uh, pinky fingers back past your hip joints. Try turning the toes in and straighten the legs. So now you are working on strengthening that low back. Ooh, yeah, I saw several oohs. Your face said it all. Strengthening the muscles in the lower psoas, in transverse abdominis, even adductors. It's amazing how the smallest shift can create the biggest change in the body. Let's take the hands to the thighs, inch the feet in just a little closer, seeing that the feet are at the width of the pelvis bones in the frame of the body. Inhaling reverse swan dive, bring both arms up and overhead. Looking up, imagining we're holding on to a bowling ball. If we're really concerned about our upper back posture today, maybe turn your pinky fingers in towards each other and press the palms back so that we're working on correcting that upper back posture. Go ahead and shift forward and back on the feet a few times, giving the body just a little bit of a center of gravity test, a little center of gravity check-in. At some point, shift forward, Lift those heels just enough to maybe just slip a paper clip under your heels. Inhale into the heart and reach up. Exhale, notice that your muscles are going to pull down a little bit. Inhale, reach up again. Exhale, let everything pull down. One more, opening up and stretching the intestines and the belly. And then exhale. From here, let's step our left foot back, a very casual stride. Turn the palms forward, and as you exhale, bend that right knee, and then twist towards the right. Inhale, bring it to center. Exhale, sweep it down, forward fold. We're keeping a bend in that right knee, left leg is straight. From here, you're welcome to pull your ribs up, flip the hips back, so again, we're stretching the intestines. We're holding it right here. Take your left hand and turn the fingers towards the right. Let's take our right hand, bring it forward, shaking someone's hand in front of us, and then circle it back. So we're using the left hand on the thigh to hopefully help us to be mindful to not over twist the trunk of the body. Also, this is for the sake of balance. If you're feeling it in your rotator cuff, bend that arm. You could always do this with an elbow circle and it's just as rewarding to the body. Inhale, open, take it back. Last one. Inhale, circle it around, right knuckles to the low back. Option to keep this knee, this right knee bent. If you're craving a little more mobility, if you're craving more detox, lift your left heel and turn it back so that when we look down at our feet, it's as if our feet are on railroad tracks straight ahead. You could always straighten this right leg a little bit. From here, we're twisting at the navel towards the right. Keep pushing down hard into that left heel. Press into the inner blades of the feet. As you inhale, roll the right shoulder blade back and try pressing the left chest and shoulder over your right knee. This is known as a twisting pyramid or even a twisting triangle expression. You might start to have some stretch sensations on the outside of the right hip. This is meant to dig into the IT band and piriformis. Now, if you're craving a little more sensation, maybe you know that 
you're just curious about the stretch. You could always slide the left hand past your knee onto your shin, left hand to the right shin or left hand to the outside of that right leg and keep pushing down into the left heel. You may start to feel some stretches moving down the calf on the back leg while it's around the side hip. This really speaks to these spiraling energies, the connections. So you could have an issue in your left foot causing pain in your right hip. Isn't that amazing? From here, breathe into that upper right lung. Remember to smile because that's the advanced version to everything when you're adulting. Big inhale. Take a tiny bend into the right knee. Interesting fact, most injuries in yoga happen when we're getting out of poses, not getting into them. Let's take our right hand onto our hip. Start pushing your left hip back and press your right hip forward to initiate the rotation. From here, inhale, reverse swan dive, both arms up. Let's step forward, feet are at the width of the pelvis bones. Find a little symmetry with the breath, shift forward and back again. Maybe turn those palms back. Option to close the eyes at any time. I will say that doing yoga with shoes is sometimes um, harder, more challenging because there's less connection to the nerves and the feet. So we're all doing advanced practices today. Let's pause and hold the heels up. Inhale, reach at the top of the breath. Notice that the lungs give you a little more mobility. Imagine you're climbing a rope. And then relax, two more. Inhale, big reach, climb the rope. Relax, inhale, reach. It's okay if your body gets wobbly. It's okay if you lose your balance. It's great to learn your tipping points. And if you fall over, it's padded and it's carpeted. You're all right. From here, let's keep the arms up, drop the heels, stepping your right foot back, keeping a bend in that left knee. Hold it right there. From here, as we exhale, we're going to swan dive those hands down. Hold it there just for a moment. Push the hips back. And then notice already, before we, before we go anywhere with this, notice already what the feet are doing. It's very natural for the back foot to turn out. Since we're going to eventually twist, let's go ahead and pick up the heel. Turn the heel back. Both toes are tracking forward. You could also squeeze the right buttocks region a little more here, more access to those buttocks muscles. Let's extend the arms back behind us. Airplane position, inhale, pull up through the ribs. Maybe open the throat a little bit, especially if you know that you've had to look down a lot today at a lot of paperwork, or maybe just the height of your monitor in proportion to your chair, keeps you looking down a little, then go ahead and lift your chin. Definitely don't want to lift so high that there's pain, but it's okay to open up like this. Let's take our right hand over to the left thigh. Fingers are facing out to the side. We're sweeping our left hand down and around, opening up, press into the inner blades of the feet. As soon as we begin to circle that arm and and we're gonna be circling through the trunk of the body a little bit. We might notice that we get a little wobbly and shaky. If you notice you're losing your balance, congratulate yourself for even noticing. That's why we do yoga, just to notice things, that's it. And if you're thinking about your wobbling body, you're not thinking about other things, that's okay. Inhale, open, try looking back and tracking the movement of the hand. Notice that as we track or move our eyes and shift our gaze, it makes it a little more complex. One more, inhale, open. Let's take our left hand to our low back. Option to straighten the left leg. So I will say this, as soon as we straighten the left leg, it puts more pressure on the sciatic nerve and that's really common. So if your low back is achy, make sure you keep that little bend in the knee. Let's roll our left shoulder back. Try pressing the right shoulder and armpit over your left thigh. Push into the inner blades of the feet. 
press back hard into the right heel. Relax your jaw. Maybe on the next exhale, notice if you twist more. Inhale in place, open the mouth, relax the jaw and twist. Holding it there. Looking back and over the shoulder is usually more challenging than looking forward. When you're ready to safely come out of this, left hand to the left hip, bending our left knee. We're moving from the pelvis bone first, not from the spine. Think about pushing your right hip back and left hip forward. Right hand can come to the hips. From here, stepping forward, feet are at the width of the pelvis bones, knees are soft. Inhale, sweeping the arms overhead. Exhale, taking the hands back and around, sitting back into chair pose, holding it here. Traditional chair pose, we're pressing in. Imagine you have like a big squishy Nerf football. So there's a little bit of like a spring back in that energy in your hands. Retract the shoulder blades or just act surprised. <laughs> there you go. That gives you a quick little boost in your posture. From here, if you'd like to experiment with a little more heat, lift the hands just a little higher. So one of the main issues that we encounter in corporate America is that the muscles can get really tight and imbalanced in our chest and back. And this is to help balance that. The higher we go with the arms, the more we're trying to counter the effects of sitting and typing and driving. So lifting a little higher, just a little bit at a time. Push your hips back. Again, be like a chicken, proud bird and ice down the back of the shirt all at once. Now, hopefully if you get a little like rush or wave of heat, that's normal. One more easy breath, find your breath, relax your eyes and the muscles in your face. <sighs> Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Let's practice a few heavy breaths. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, sweep it back. Close the eyes. This is more about feeling your way through life than seeing your way through life. Learn to use those sensations as a guide, like an internal compass. One more big inhale. Let that breath go. Big exhale. From here, let's touch our toes in and keep a little bit of space between the heels. More twisting, more detox. Inhale, arms overhead, press the palms together. Bring the thumbs to the center of the chest. Close the eyes, put pressure into the chest with the right thumb. Now try to match it with the left thumb. So already we're attempting to balance both hemispheres of the brain, so we have messages that are a little more balanced to both sides of the body. Now, when you feel ready or when your body is ready, start to bend the knees and flip the hips back, coming into a chair with a more narrow stance. Let's take our thumbs over to the right armpit. Without moving our shoulders, rotating at the navel towards the right. And it may only be an inch or two of mobility. The lower back and belly actually are not very mobile joints. We usually use our upper spine prematurely and that jams up the lower back. So we're trying to prevent injury through this mindfulness. From here, we're twisting to the right. Push your right hip forward while your right shoulder goes back. So opposite energies, right hip forward, right shoulder back. You're creating a corkscrew in the body. Come down a little deeper, just a little bit, goes a long way. 
Remember, you don't have to do a lot in yoga. The bigger movement is not the better movement. Let's look over our right shoulder, tuck the chin in, securing the energy in your throat. That throat energy is responsible for all sorts of mind stuff. Stay here, exhale all the way, bring the chin to your chest, pause, pull the muscles in the pelvis up. On the count of three, act surprised, one, two, three. Navel in and up, twist a little more, push that left hip back, push your left knee back. When you're ready, release that contraction, thumbs to the center, chest to the center, palms to the thighs, relax the upper body and straighten the legs. Let's shake the head yes and turn it left and right. Find a still point. Big exhale from your throat with a sigh. Bending the knees. Let's draw our hands to the thighs and straighten the arms, propping up our back. Arms go out to the side, reverse swan dive. Exhaling palms together, thumbs to the center of the chest. Holding it here, closing our eyes. Right thumb presses into the chest. Match that pressure, match the feeling on the left side. Eyes can stay closed or open. Start to bend the knees and then flip the hips back. From there, lowering down into our body's expression of a safe chair pose. Sliding our thumbs over to the left crease of the armpit. Thinking about only swiveling at the waistline. On the next exhale, maybe only swivel one inch. Hold it there. Option to look over the left shoulder. Pull the muscles up in the pelvic floor and squeeze the inner thighs in towards each other. Twist a little more, maybe just one more inch. From here, we're bringing that left shoulder back a little more, adding in a bit more of a rib cage twist. Push your left hip forward, left hip towards me. Press your right knee back and the right hip back. So we're propping up that hip joint. Relax your jaw. <sighs> Anytime we work with the jaw, hips, low back, pelvis, they are all connected. They communicate to each other. Hold it here. Inhale, bring the chin in towards the chest. Exhale all the way. Pull the muscles up in the pelvis. Hold it there. Surprise. Three, two, one. <gasps> Belly in and up. Deeper twist. Just one more. And now bring it to center. Thumbs to the center. Palms to the thighs. Bend the elbows, slowly lower the neck and head, straighten the legs, soften through your hips. Exhale from the throat at least a couple times to relax the jaw and the hips. To safely come up, let's bend our knees, slide the hands up onto the thighs, straightening the arms, dropping up the chest. If you get dizzy when you come up, come up even slower. Let's walk the hands up, roll those shoulders back, shake off your legs. Woo, did anybody else get a little heat? Okay, good. So let's balance that with a cooling breath. By the way, happy International Women's Day. Women's energy is usually a cooling, calming energy, whereas men, their energy is very active and fiery. And uh, you know, it's International Women's Day, but I just wanna say we need both, right? We need both. So um, we're gonna close our fiery practice with a cooling breath today. You're welcome to join me by using your hands, which is very traditional, but you don't have to touch your face if it doesn't feel right. To do this technique, I'm using my right hand because I'm right-handed. You can use whatever hand you want. I'm taking my peace fingers and folding them down. This is actually a hand gesture when you push here into the palm of your hand that is used to promote calming and cooling your body. This on its own. 
From here, I'm taking my thumb and I'm pressing on the outside of my right nostril. Inhale into the left. Now switch your hand over, close off the left, exhale right. Close off right, inhale left. Close off left, exhale right. And we're just gonna keep alternating that. Inhale on the left, exhale right. Now maybe close your eyes and start to count it. Inhale left, one, two, three. Exhale right, three, two, one. A couple more. One more full cycle of breath, no matter where you are. Then relax, breathe in through both nostrils. That's considered an advanced breathing technique called the Chandra Beda. It means moon energy breath. From here, let's inhale, sweep the arms up and then softly flip the palms out and press them down towards your thighs. Let's do two more like that. Imagine that you're moving through water, another cooling energy, creating a sense of resistance, but also buoyant. So there's a little bit of resistance, such as life. We're gonna find moments that kind of push up against us, but we're also buoyant. So we're able to move effortlessly. We're able to float gracefully through life. Let's bring our hands together to the heart. Big breath in together to close. Big sigh. And from here we can close. Namaste. Go enjoy your lovely spring day, everyone.